you know, we need to see the big picture and we need to get back to basics in the course of all these little trade wars and technology wars and all the bitter rhetoric which has been going out, going, going around. Uh, it is framing a new narrative which is taking us away from the reality in which we exist today. And the reality is that these are the two biggest economies and among the most powerful players in the world and problems in the world will not be solved without the two countries having some sort of a meeting of minds. So, and I think he was absolutely correct in that regard. Uh, it, it's also very encouraging to see players who have had, people who have had very senior positions in the U.S. government, even if they step out, once they've stepped out of the U.S. government, willing to champion this relationship. Because the problem in Washington is that there is so much group think out here that people who are within government don't have the courage to, to step and, and, and hold a, an original opinion on this or a contrarian opinion on this front. And that's how the group thing gets entrenched. And that's why we need very senior players who've been there, seen it, done that, and talking reality to all of us that this is the way it should be done because the two countries are fated to collaborate if this world is to move into a, to a better place.